Welcome back to Ravenfield. In one of the previous videos, we try to take the aircraft carrier. In fact, we try to take that thing all the time because it is one of the most difficult things to do in Ravenfield without using mad cheats. We're gonna be doing that again today. Now, in the last one, what we used was some heavily modded vehicles. Remember when I said cheats? These things were so big and powerful, it almost felt like it, except it still wasn't easy. We used a quad rotor aircraft a VTOL aircraft that could carry something like 50 plus infantry units. That wasn't enough. Now there was the heavily armed gunship version of that, which we used, and that thing makes it a little bit easier to approach since you can fire so many rockets and some of your big powerful guns. And that didn't seem like it was enough. But many submarines seemed to show some true promise because you could sneak up on the enemy ship and get troops in, so you didn't have too much incoming fire. In fact, most of the time they didn't know you were there till, well, you were already there. But then the issue was you get out on foot and infantry are very vulnerable to, well, bullets. So that was tough. But today we're gonna use one of the most inventive contraptions I've ever seen. Leave your suggestions on some of the craziest modded vehicles or mod challenges you have. And the best ones might just get chosen for a future video. So first things first, we need to start out on Raven. And then I think what we want to do, I think instead of an attack boat, what we need is the mini submarine. But we need to make room in this transport, the attack boat for the water border heavy. Now you may be like, wait a minute, did Sofa make this? That's a brilliant question. And you would be right. So first thing to do is get a bunch of unwilling participants. I've got 20 men. What we need to do also is wait for these planes to drive by because they'll run you over. Yeah, they don't care. Those savages. Now this APC's got the right idea. He's like, hey, Baron, why don't we use the water and do the floating thing? Honestly, when you think about it, we probably should have had like a more protected walkway instead of having troops just run across the runway. The AI needs to be amended or the map does. Ideally both. We've just lost 10 men and we haven't even encountered the enemy. Now what we need to do is spawn in. All right, guys, get out. That was a little premature. We need two of these guys and then one of the big boys, which is water border heavy. Enter Remora. Now enter the other one. Look at this thing. Now they should be following us. So what happens is this thing has an auto cannon. Wait, did we not get, we might need to get a few people to enter this. So basically we slow down and I've got this auto cannon. I definitely have more seats. This thing has to be one of the best submarines ever. All right, what we need to do is tell the boys exit and then enter and look at this thing filling up. We actually could, oh man, we might need a few more soldiers. I mean, if we're gonna do this, we gotta do it right. Oh, my sensitivity is insane. We needed a restart. For some reason, no one went to that plane. Maybe I grabbed the pilot. We only lost uh, seven, eight. All right, so what we need to do then is switch the order. So I don't know how many people are able to enter this thing, but like, look at this. Let's just get a quick, a better look. All right, so I'm entering it and all the boys are hopping in. Uh, this thing has a ton of rows. My God, we might be able to fit an entire squad in here. I have 32 people and I think every seat is filled up maybe except for one. So now that we're ready, we're gonna use this super submarine to get up close and then I'm gonna destroy everybody with the auto cannon. Now we've got a lot of mini subs at the docks. So what we could do once again is tell everybody to attack this point. That way we should see some mini submarine reinforcements. This might be the best. It's basically like this submarine turns. You know what? It's 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 like, you know how you have the armored personnel carrier, which is technically amphibious. Whoa, someone is locking onto me? I can try. Okay, I can drop smoke. That's good. How are they able to lock on me if I'm under the water? That shouldn't work, right? Now, one of the areas we want to go into... Wait, technically I can like... Hold on. Against my better judgment, we're going to surface right here. All right, I got the auto cannon. Oh, God. That does not have very good range. It's a nerf gun. And I think it's because we need arc in order to shoot because we're going to go in a different spot. We're not just going to go into the back of the aircraft carrier where the little like harbor is. The harbor where they've got their like boats, their launching platform for the two little Marlin Zodiac attack craft. Eagle captured the landing. We've got some mini subs in route. Hello there, buddies. Uh Oh, all right, surface. Oh, the attack boat's coming. Dive, dive, dive. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Dive, enemy destroyer. Oh, jeez, that was terrifying. We almost messed up right there. Look at how many guys are on the stairwell right here. All right, so we're gonna leave the armor. So hopefully they can't, here we go. Hello, boy. 
boys surprise <laughs> yes oh my god this is brilliant okay we need to reload and get a little bit closer ha ha <laughs> all right everybody attack the carrier i'll give you covering fire are you guys doing it oh hold on exit attack there we go 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 uh, i guess we should have like positioned ourselves a little bit better is this gonna work i think it's gonna work oh my gosh that cleared the route oh this thing is gorgeous <laughs> we've taken it this is the fastest i think i've ever taken the aircraft carrier using this heavily customized weapon this thing isn't very functional if you really think about it they, there's not too many uses that you'd have for something that's like you know oh this is you know that's always been annoying is now you can't get up there hey no 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 no, no guys stay up there defend Defend the carrier with your lives. These guys are like, okay, we're gonna get in this thing. Where are you going? Now we're spawning in mini submarines. It's got the auto turret. Oh man, where's everybody going now? Are you are you moving to get? Oh, you you, you want to go swimming? Okay, we'll go swimming. Let's see what else we can take. Everybody aboard! <laughs> Oh my god, look at that plane. Hold on, I know exactly what to do. Surface and fire. Doosh, 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 doosh. Destroy the buzzard. Reload the main gun. Johan. All my, all my guys got in the ship, and now we lost the carrier. But I want to try... What are you guys doing? I didn't... Boys, exit. Enter. That was special. Yeah, we're in a hostile area, and you guys just decided to derp the derp. So D-Day was a giant amphibious invasion, right? Lots of landing craft, but they all went on the top of the water. What if we had submersibles? What would that have been like? Well, I want to find out. We're going to head over here to the reef. My God, we've destroyed the enemy numbers. Ladies and gentlemen, this is submarine D-Day in Ravenfield. The AI in Ravenfield might not be much to talk about, but what you can talk about is submarine tanks, specifically designed to take heavily defended objectives via the water. The island is right in front of us, boys. Oh God, okay. We can't get too close because it's uh, shallow. All right, boys, we're gonna do the same thing we did last time. You're gonna exit and I'm gonna give you a command to attack the reef. Oh God, they're behind us. Covering fire. All right, how many shells do I have? We're reloading. All right, if I go slow, I guess I can get closer, but I definitely beached myself here. Turret, look at that. And we captured it. Now what I need is everybody to enter. Now let's see this from the opposite point of view. So what we're going to do is I'm going to switch over to Eagle. We're going to go to the vehicles and we are going to have official vehicles. So we're going back to attack boat and Marlin. Now the transport boat over here is still going to be Marlin's, but the attack boat is going to be the heavy transport sub and I'm going to use it. We're going to take the airfield. That's right. The airfield. Now I need to get it. What? At least 30 men. Hey, hey, stop. Stop running away. God, everyone's gone. Let's try it again. We got to go slow motion right here. Come on. There we go. 30. Let's go for 40. They're regrouped to following. Now, hopefully none of them. No, 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 no. That's fine. They, they're just going for it. Okay. Well, we've got a lot of the squad not really doing anything. Let's spawn another water border. That just sounds weird, doesn't it? Uh-oh. What happens if I spawn it there? I think it on top of me. You know what? We ain't going to worry about that. See ya. I have 58 squad people because I, I picked up everybody that was doing this. So if we're going to take the airfield on the northern shore, there is a nice little landing area and it's probably the shortest distance to the flag point. Now, as you can see, the little Marlin Zodiac boats are already hitting the beach in the port facility. They're exceptionally fast, but the enemy countered that with APCs. So it looks like those units were probably taken out. Now, while this is happening, we've got the aerial invasion over there to our left. A helicopter transport just went down. It doesn't look like anybody was in it, probably because most of our forces are, well, in this submarine. This thing is a very specialized vehicle. Now, it'd be really cool if you could have one of these like carry tanks or something. Thing, and that might be something that we could try to do. In fact, wait, are they shooting at us? They want to. They're thinking about it. Wait a minute. How many men have I put in here? How many men are with me? And then how many men are still back at the ship? Could there really be 58 people in here? I guess we're going to find out once we tell them to exit the vehicle. So we've rounded the point. We're getting closer to our objective. Now we could use this one and it may have a little bit cover, a little bit more cover, but I think the more exciting spot would be to hit this beach right here. The troops wouldn't have to get mountain training. <laughs> All right, and surface. We have actually bottomed out. So the gun's ready, exit and attack. 
How many men is that? That looks like 30 to me. All right, we'll do a little bit of covering fire. I don't think the enemy really knows that we're here. Now, if that thing could be much, much faster, we probably would have been able to hit this beach. Look at this. Oh my gosh, one bazooka round or like one bombing run and this entire force would be decimated. And look at that, we've taken the airstrip. This wasn't very heavily defended, now was it? But it proves that with that vehicle, like they don't see it coming. If you come on boats, they'd see on the map. Boys, you did great. Oh God, bombing run, bombing run. Who did it? That guy. So is this beauty one of the coolest modded vehicles ever in Ravenfield? The answer is most assuredly yes. It is the easiest way to take an aircraft carrier, bar none. In fact, it was specifically designed to do just that by the mod maker Sofa. We're able to take some of the hotly contested, most heavily defended areas in the map. Did that thing just explode? Using it, so long as we have water. I guess it sunk for some reason. We scuttled it so the enemy wouldn't have it. Yeah, that's that's the reason, right? So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye Frags out, boys, frags out. Look at this, these guys don't stand a chance.